Hi all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mr. Flight Mode On, and today is part six in Italy Sorrento. So off we go to have breakfast. And today you can see I've got myself some scrambled egg beans, I've got some pancakes, croissant, and a bit of fruit. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and turn on notifications. So right now, we're off to Sorrento and we're going to purchase some tickets for the ferry to Capri. So as you can see, it's a lovely day today. The weather here so far has been absolutely amazing. And today is actually our last day in Sorrento. We'll be flying back tomorrow. So down the staircase we go, making our way towards the ticket station for the ferry. So just in front of me there, you can see an information point. If you'd like to get any information, you can do so. So just in front of me there, you can see a center where you can do some sports activities if you like. And we're almost at the ticket station now. It's just a little bit further. So the ferry time is around 8.45 and per adult it's 20 euros 10 and for a child it's 12 euros 80. And as you can see the queues are extremely busy in the morning. So the ferry from Sorrento to Capri takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes. So we're just boarding the ferry and I think this one is going to be a very busy one. So my son wants to go and take a look at the back of the ferry so let's go and follow this handsome young chap.
so there's a lovely view from the back of the ferry but it's just way too noisy out here so we're just going to make our way back to our seats So there's also a refreshment bar on the ferry if you'd like anything and we've just reached our destination so we're just about to get off the ferry now. So just look at the view, it's absolutely amazing. And if you do have any questions, comments, um, just feel free to drop them in the comment section below. So what we're going to do now is buy some tickets so we can take the boat to the Blue Grotto and we're planning to actually go inside the Blue Grotto as well which is an extra charge. Here you can see the prices on the board. And these are the two different journeys so you've got the yellow line and the blue line. Today we'll be taking the blue line and that is going to be 20 euros per person. So we've just boarded our boat and we're making our way to the Blue Grotto which is about 20 minutes away. Just look at those mountains, absolutely beautiful. Thank you. 
So one thing I would say is if you do suffer from seasickness, make sure you don't eat too much breakfast in the morning and also carry some motion sickness pills with you. Uh, we did have a couple of people that were feeling a little ill. Um, partially because of the seasickness and also there is a strong smell of fuel um, that comes from the boat so you know that can actually set some people off so just to warn you So we're just approaching the entrance to the Blue Grotto. As you can see, there's lots of boats here waiting at the moment to go inside the Blue Grotto. So um, what actually happens is you get yourself into a small uh, little boat um, that then takes you into the opening of the Blue Grotto. So at the moment, we're just waiting for our turn. So just to let you know, it is an additional 10 euros per person to go inside the Blue Grotto. And I think children under eight were free as far as I remember. Okay, so it's our turn to get inside the small boat to make our way into the Blue Grotto. So as you can see there, the opening is quite narrow. So we will have to get our body right inside the small vessel so we don't injure ourselves. So we're just paying the 10 euro entry fee plus the 4 euro tax before we go in. So we're just approaching the opening and I'll let you guys have a listen to what it sounds like. Okay. I don't mind. 
Drop kids. Yeah. UK kids. Can you see all the blue? Yeah. No. Have a look, you can get up. You I can can't see. see anything. I can just see black. Can I show you? So guys, I don't know if you heard the tour guide earlier, but this area used to be the Emperor Tiberius's private swimming pool when he had moved to Capri back in 27 AD. Okay, we have to lie down. I don't have to do it. Hang on. I don't have to do it. Okay, go on. You okay? I'm sorry, I'm uncomfortable, but I have to do this with my hand. Keep your arm in if you can. And that was a really interesting experience. I definitely recommend it. And just to let you know, they do stop in there and the guy did actually take a few family photos of us inside the grotto. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a, a good experience and something worth doing. Okay guys, it's now time to go back to Capri Island and then make our way to the main area and stop for some lunch.
Okay guys, so it's time for us to get our tickets for the cable car which will take us up to Capri. As you can see the queues are fairly busy um, but there are a few kiosks open so I'm sure the queues will go down fairly quickly. So as you can see in front of me, these are the queues to get onto the cable car. Um, it does get very busy and if you do have small children with you, make sure you know, you've got your eye on them and you're holding their hands. Also at the time this was filmed, um, you did have to wear masks on the actual cable car so just do your due diligence before you travel So we're almost there now at the top. So here we are at the top and the view is absolutely stunning. Just to my left hand side there are some toilets if you do need them. And right now I think it's the perfect opportunity to take some photos. So we're going to take some family photos and then we'll continue inside the area and have a look at some of the shops and look for a place to have lunch. Here's just a little map of the area. So there's quite a few restaurants here and they do look very busy. So just to my right, there is a tourist information spot if you do need any info.
Scusate, ma la Francesca dov'è? So we found a place to have lunch. So we've just ordered lunch for ourselves and the kids and we've ordered a couple of margarita pizzas and we've also ordered a salad and some drinks and lunch in itself was decent I would give it an 8 out of 10. So here we can see a couple have just got married and the man's at the front there it looks like he's already trying to run away. Just kidding guys just kidding. So we're just in the restaurant bar at the moment. We've gone inside just to use the toilets, which are also inside. You've got a male and female toilet here, um, but they are quite busy. As you can see, there's a lot of people around here. Okay, so lunch is done. So time to look around Capri and check out the shops here. So in front of me we can see a luxury watch shop which has all of the high-end brands such as Patek Philippe, Rolex, Audemars Piguet etc. So as you can see in front of me there's lots of designer shops you've got Ferragamo that we just went past there um, and yeah is pretty much most designers here such as the high-end ones that that you could think of so as we walk further down we'll see other designer shops here
So to the left of me there, there's a well-known place for gelato and we've heard a lot about it. So it's time for us to grab some gelato. So this place is called Buono Core um, and it looks like they have quite a big queue going on here. So I'm looking forward to this. They've also got some seating inside if you prefer to sit down and have your dessert inside the shop you can do so So here we can see all of the different flavors that they have. So my son's got the vanilla in a cone. I've got the cookies and cream in a cone. My daughter's got the stracciatella and my wife's got the hazelnut cone. So just in front of me you can see the Dolce & Gabbana store and just to my right there you can see the Hublot store. So just to my right, there's an interesting sculpture. So just in front of me there, you can see the Chanel store. To my left there, you can see the Hermes store. There's so many shops here, you could absolutely go crazy. Just to the left of me, you can see the Christian Dior store. And this designer store was quite funky. It's called Net. 
and it has different sneakers just on this stand here swirling around um, here we can see a little cat going to sleep so we're going to use these steps to take some photos So to the right of me you've got the Audemars PK store and just to the left of me we've got the Gucci store and this area is quite a dangerous area to be in when you're with your wife so be careful. To my left you can see the Moncler store. So time for a quick spot of shopping at Gucci. Okay, so we've just finished at Gucci. Um, to the right of me, you can see the Louis Vuitton store. And to the left of me, you can see the Ralph Lauren store. So to the right of me, you can see the Golden Goose store. And to the left of me, you can see the Dolce & Gabbana store. And Further up you can see the Yves Saint Laurent store as well as the Versace store. I don't think there's a single designer I have not seen yet. Okay so to the right of me there was the Moschino store um, and as we approach the end of the street we can see a few restaurants and to the right of me there is also a garden area. We won't be visiting the garden area today as we haven't got too much time um, but yeah it does look really nice here really pretty so to the right of me we can see a restaurant which looks very busy so we're just gonna continue walking to the end of the street so right in front of me you can see a wall that has purple flowers on it I'm not sure what type of flowers these are so if you do know drop a message in the comment section below um, but we're going to take a quick opportunity to take some photos of the children near the flower wall So the kids have found a little lizard on the tree
so it's time to make our way back. So I hope you guys have enjoyed traveling with us to Capri. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and be sure to turn on notifications. So guys, we are back at the hotel now. We're having a bit of a break and then we'll get ready and we'll go out for dinner and dessert one final time. So this is our last night, as I said, So the plan today is to stay fairly local because we do need to get back, pack our suitcases, etc. Ensure that we've packed everything away and we're ready to fly tomorrow. So we're going to visit the restaurant that we do really like and we're back at the Il Leon Rosso. As you can see, it's fairly early and again, extremely busy. So to start off with, we've got some bread and we've ordered the tuna pizza, this time with cheese. And I have to say with cheese, it looks much better and it also tasted much better. So we've also got a garden salad and we've got some bruschetta. We've also got some prawn linguine and some calamari with chips. And once again, dinner was lovely. So on to David's gelato for the final time. As you can see, David takes his cleanliness very seriously. He's shining away the cabinets there and they're sparkling clean so with regards to gelato we've gone for the stracciatella we've gone for hazelnut we've gone for one with mint and salted caramel and another mint so once again the gelato was spectacular and i highly recommend this place i believe it's the best gelato place that we went to in sorrento okay so that was our last night in sorrento so time to make our way back to our hotel Once again, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and it's time for us to say goodbye. So 
thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends and i'll see you in the next one